Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bruno Maric from the Laboratory for Robotics and Intelligent Control System Laris. Laris is a part of the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computing FAIR from the University of Zagreb. Together with my colleague Marcela Povic, we will do our best to present you our recent work called Soft Robotics Approach to Autonomous Plastering. This paper was submitted for ICAD 2021 workshop representing and manipulating deformable, deformable objects. In the beginning, please let me briefly introduce ourselves. Both of our re research interests include soft robotics manipulation, with Marcella being more interested in tactile sensing, compliant control, and machine learning. On the other hand, my research focuses on compliant control of industrial manipulators and collaborative human robot interaction in industrial environments. We are both involved as researchers in the Specularia project. If you are interested in our recent works, please visit our website and also please join Field Robotics 7th session of the conference, where Masena will be presenting her paper called Compliant Plant Exploration for Agricultural Procedures with a Collaborative Robot. The presentation is organized as follows. In the beginning, I will introduce motivation and related work. Then we will talk about the shape modeling and control of the plastering knife. Since the estimation of the plastering knife deformation is essential for the autonomous plastering, I will introduce estimation techniques used in this work. At the end, experimental results and conclusion will follow. A motivation of this work was to develop an industrial soft robotic systems for the autonomous plastering of complex shaped surfaces. The main idea of such, a, such approach is a project indoors where we have successfully developed autonomous robotic system for grinding of complex shaped surfaces used in aircraft manufacturing industry. Our approach relies on deep learning based soft body estimation, where the goal is to estimate shape and deformation of the flexible plastering knife. Controlling both the knife inclination angle and the contour force, the robotic system can apply different plastering strategies. For a proper execution of the plastering task, the robot needs to control both the knife inclination angle with the treated object and the contact force. Since the shape of the tool is a result of the contact between the plastering knife tool and the treated object, we have designed the control system that decouples the system into two parallel control systems by estimating the shape of the knife. The shape of the knife is estimated using RealSense RGBD camera capturing the complete plastering knife. Inspired by the results from vision-based tactile sensing development, the plastering tool was enriched with visual clues for easy deformation modeling through Im image analysis. The knife shape was modeled using three deformation features. Three features were later estimated using a deep learning model. During the training phase, a pre-trained pre -trained ar architecture was used for a deformation estimation on a custom dataset. The dataset was created through the experiment and data analysis. The approach presented here can easily be extended into a more complex 3D deformation modeling where both the inclination angle and the torsion angle of the knife tool could be estimated. The evaluation of the proposed estimation method and control system is conducted through experiments using industrial manipulator KUKA KR10, equipped with sensors and specially designed plastering tool. The first experiment includes plastering task on a flat surface. On the other hand, second experiment is conducted on a piecewise flat surface with a single discontinuity between two flat surfaces. This is used to evaluate the dynamic response of the knife inclination control, resulting in knife inclination adjustment with low position change. In this work, deep learning is deployed in industrial tasks involving deformable object manipulation. A pre-trained convolutional neural network architecture is trained by a transfer learning paradigm. From the raw camera images, a neural network estimates the values of the deformation features of the flexible robot tool. The experimental results show that the provided control architecture ensures that the tip of the knife tracks the desired attack angle. The remaining deformation features, as well as its estimated contact force, will be used in the future work where the approach will be extended with a coupled force position controller. For more information about our work, please take a look at our manuscript or contact us directly on our email addresses. Thank you for your attention.